Today we're going to have a look at these little boxes and see how they can actually improve the internet around your home or office. They've got Wi-Fi 6, which is dual band. They've got two and a half gigabit Ethernet connections as well. And on top of that, it creates a mesh network or a big bubble all the way around your home or business where you can connect to Wi-Fi with ease anywhere. The Mercusys Halo H90X is a top-of-the-line version among different Mercusys Halo systems available. With varying speed ratings, features and options in two and three pack versions, you're sure to find the perfect fit for your needs. At the time of filming, the H90X model has a price of around about £399, but be sure you click the links below as prices can change dramatically with tech products over time. And while you're down there, if you have seen different prices for this product, make sure you comment below, let everyone know. Also, let us know if you've used the product, tell us how good it is or not. And on top of that, make sure you click that thumbs up, subscribe and like button to let us know how much you actually appreciate our reviews. If you're new to mesh networking, don't worry, we'll have a video at the end of this review that goes more into depth about what mesh is. But in simple terms, mesh networks use multiple nodes that work together to send and spread Wi-Fi signals throughout your home or business. This allows for faster speeds, fewer dead spots, more stability and reliability, and also the ability to connect more devices at once. The packaging for the Halo H90X is clear and to the point, with most of the information you need clearly marked on the front, including speeds, coverage area and the number of devices you can use. The rear and sides of the box go into more depth covering specifications, features and a diagram showing you how it works. One thing we would have liked to see is a QR code for instructions and another one for a product presentation video showing you and telling you how the product works. Unfortunately, a specific Swedish activist How dare you! might not be too happy with the one-use plastics found in the packaging. The box has a plastic film and each node and power cable has even more plastic cover in it. Inside the box you will find three nodes, three power cables that are 1.4 meters long each, and a one meter yellow ethernet cable, a quick start guide, warranty card, and a sheet advising you to update drivers if you have any problems connecting to Wi-Fi 6. The nodes are made of plastic and seem fairly sturdy, with air intakes and outtakes on the top and bottom. They also have four anti-slip feet on the bottom as well. On the back of the node you'll find a power socket, a reset hole, one 2.5 gigabit per second ethernet connection and two 1 gigabit connections. Worried about power consumption? Don't be. These nodes use very little power and you'll see minimal, if any, difference in your monthly electric bill. During our testing, we found at idle each node uses around about 5.2 watts or less. And when surfing the internet, it increased to around about 6 watts. The highest power consumption we saw was when we were using multiple machines connected all at once, doing various different things from downloading, surfing the internet, watching videos and so on. And the most we saw on each node was 9.1 watts. Setting up the Mercury 6 Halo H90X is a breeze. Just scan the QR code on the instructions manual, download the highly rated app and follow some basic instructions to create a free account. And then just follow the rest of the instructions and it will even optimise your network for best performance. The app allows you to monitor your network, prioritise devices, change Wi-Fi settings, set up a guest network so you can have obviously guests connect to your internet and not interfere with any of your network. You can also block devices and even add parental controls to limit content or online time for specific devices. In short, the app is easy to use and makes it simple to customize your network to your liking. But then again, you may never use the app and you don't need to once you've initially set it up. You may just leave it running like most people do. Not only can you connect devices to the Halo via Wi-Fi, but you can also use the Ethernet ports on the nodes for wired connections. This is perfect for devices like printers or game consoles that may benefit from a more stable connection or a device like a traditional PC which may not have wireless built in. 
We conducted several speed tests comparing the Mercusis Halo H90X to the Tender MX-12 mesh system. The results were quite similar with the Mercusis system slightly outperforming the Tender. Our internet connection directly at the modem is approximately 550 megabits per second. When using Wi-Fi in our office, which is roughly 20 meters away and one floor up, we saw speeds around 50 to 120 megabits per second. Unfortunately, that is pretty slow and very inconsistent, but obviously that's when we're connecting to our default modem. As soon as we installed the mesh, we were getting around about 400 megabits per second. While not exactly the 550 we're getting directly at the router, it definitely provides a significant improvement in both speed and stability over using a default router, for example, like a BT Home Hub or a Virgin Hub or whatever other suppliers you've got. Overall, the Mercusis Halo H90X is an excellent mesh Wi-Fi 6 system that delivers on its promise of improved speed, coverage and stability. With its ease of setup, user-friendly app and solid performance, we highly recommend considering the Halo H90X for your home or business. So what is mesh? Well, mesh is basically a way of extending your internet signal around your house and basically make a bubble as I like to put it. What you do is you get the main node, you plug it into your router access point, basically the bit where your internet comes into your house, you'll have something from BT or Sky, whoever your service provider is, you plug it into that. And then you have two other units which you position around your house, probably one at the bottom of the stairs in a hallway or a kitchen, and then the other, probably on a landing or even a bedroom, or if you're in something like a bungalow or a flat or an office, you can spread them out whichever you see fit, usually one centrally and then one a little bit further away. And what happens is all these devices work together. So when you connect to the internet, you don't have to put a different code in for each individual device. The same wireless code, same connection for all of them. So when you turn your smartphone on or your tablet or your laptop, it automatically connects to which is ever closest or fastest for it to do so, which means that your signal's not having to go all the way from one end of your house all the way to the router. It actually goes to one of these access points or nodes or whatever you want to call them, and then the signal goes from there to the next one and to the next one and makes basically a big bubble around your house. I've seen it personally when we've set them up for people People in like three-storey, four-storey, or even five-storey mansions were un unable to get internet access because they've got thick walls and obviously due to the size of the property. You place these systems in and bam, they've got internet everywhere and even on the surrounding grounds around the building. I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think, and we'll see you next time.